as they get, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, uh, those of you just joining us, I am with Miss Angela Harris, the mother of Anaya Blanchard. And we know that story, how it turned out. And we're here searching right now. We're at exit 10 over. Bessemer 459. Listen, if you traveled this site last night around 9 30 to 10 p.m., if you traveled this site and you saw anything, will you please call 205 401 3365 to Lethia Russell or call a Hoover Police Department or call a Birmingham Police Department because I'm sure all the police agencies are working together. So, this community active here at Traveling Shoes Turner. And I'm out here on a search party now, and we're trying to see what we can find. We know that the police agencies did what they needed to do one last night, but you just never know, and we don't want to take anything for granted. So, please, if you listen at me right now, would you please share this video please share this video and if you need the information we're looking for a 25 year old Carly Russell she's 150 to 160 pounds she's 5'4 on July 13th around 9 30 10 p.m. Carly Russell was abducted in the Hoover area of I-459 and that's where you see us searching that right now her personal items and her car a Mercedes Benz were found right here in this location so if you have any information if you were driving this way last night please call 205-401-3365 or the Hoover Police Department or call your Birmingham Police whatever department you near please call because there's several law enforcement agencies that are working with this and answer we're live now so what is it that we want people to be doing right now uh, we want people to just be sharing Carly's information uh, get the word out there about Carly um, we are looking for her we're not looking for her car either we're looking for Carly and just help share the word spread the word and be on the lookout wherever you live wherever you're from she could be anywhere so anywhere you look is, is, is good look wherever you are the parents you know too well what they're feeling absolutely no words to describe it and that's why I'm out here that's why I do what I do is because when you have a missing child or you know something bad happened to your child you're just in go mode the adrenaline is just I want to find my child and there's nothing to describe it so um, we're just out here supporting and trying to find Carly and trying to bring her home. So just keep praying that we find Carly alive and, and well. And like Angela said, wherever you live, it, it don't matter. Wherever Georgia, you live. Florida, anywhere. Uh, if you have share. family members in Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi, Georgia. Tennessee, please share. Now, this picture that I've been posting, she don't look like this. Can you tell them what we're looking for, Ms. So Angela? Carly was last seen wearing all black. She had on a black uh, dry fit Nike shirt with black scrub pants. And she was wearing her natural hair and uh, her hair was in cornrows. So uh, that's what she was looked like on yesterday. So she won't look like she looks on this picture, but you're looking for her in cornrows. Uh, call her name out, wherever you are, just call her name out. You just never know. And I want to thank these volunteers of course, Angela, I want to thank you. I definitely want to thank these volunteers because none of us know the family, but that could be our daughter, anybody's daughter, all our daughter.
those of you joining us we are here on I-459 we're not looking for Carly's car we're not looking for Carly's cell phone those items are already found we're looking for Carly so wherever you are be out looking call her name Carly Call her name. From here, Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi, 